Hey YouTube, Ray Horvath Productions, and it is January 21st, 2021. Hope everybody had a great holiday, and uh, kind of glad 2020's behind us. Let's hope 2021 is much better for everybody. Uh, I do not want a repeat of 2020. Before I get started with the video, I'd like to ask everybody to please like and subscribe and share and hit that bell icon as well. That way you don't miss any upcoming videos. I still uh, have a future video coming out uh, with the full review of the shock therapy uh, suspension uh, upgrade that I had done out in Phoenix, Arizona with the guys at shock therapy. So please hit that so you can, it'll be coming up here in a couple of weeks. Right now I am out in the middle of the Doniana Range, one of my favorite areas to ride. And it is one of the rare days here in southern New Mexico that we have uh, some drizzle and some sprinkles. It rained overnight, which makes for great riding conditions because down here we deal with dust. So really, really nice area. Very fortunate to have this pretty much in my backyard. I think there's some more clouds moving in. Uh, but anyway, for those of you that know this region, Las Cruces is that way, which is basically south. And uh, this way is west. And then over here by Summerford Mountain, which is the name of this mountain in the background, that is heading north. So this is Summerford right there. And that peak there in the distance is Summerford Mountain West. But anyway, a really cool area to ride and lots of wildlife as well. Javelina, deer, oryx, which were brought in years ago from Africa and are thriving at this area. But nevertheless, a really, really nice area. But done with the video. I'm going to touch on a couple of things on the KRX that uh, some people have been asking me about. Uh, as well as uh, send comments that I would like to answer and I appreciate all the comments guys and all the support I try to get to every one of them it's challenging with work and uh, just putting up videos and answering them but I appreciate all the comments please feel free to drop them at the bottom if you have any questions I will try to get to them so you may have noticed that I have a new set of tires on the KRX so I got rid of the, <clears throat> excuse me, the Gladiator X comps. They uh, were a 10 ply steel belted tire. And uh, I went with the Milestar Patagonia SXTs. And these are exactly the same size. It's interesting. These are a 32 10 15. They are still a DOT tire. And they are, so they are eight ply instead of 10 ply. And instead of being a steel belted radial as the Gladiators were, the uh, Patagonia Milestars are a Kevlar belted tire. And they are eight ply instead of 10 ply. So a couple of reasons I chose this tire and it was a tough choice. I was looking at the EFX motivator. I was looking at the Tusk Terabytes. Um, there was a couple of choices in there that I was going to do, but I chose these uh, for two reasons. I still wanted the durability of a uh, tough tire, but the and the X comps by Gladiator were amazing. I really, really liked those. Uh, they lasted a good long time. As a matter of fact, I sold them to an individual that's putting them on a Talon, which is where their birth was initially. And he's still getting some miles out of them. But they were a 10 ply, very durable, but extremely heavy tire. And I wanted something with the durability, but I did not want the weight. Those guys weighed a little over 50 pounds per tire. And the Patagonias here are about 38 pounds per tire. So immediate, immediate difference in the weight. And the other thing you may notice is these are a more rounded off tire instead of the uh, more squared off truck looking tire on the uh, Gladiators. And I did this for two reasons. One, it uh, is supposed to have, 
improved the suspension um, as far as the recommendation I was giving given excuse me by the guys out at shock therapy uh, it's not a huge difference but they let me know that the squared off ones kind of affect a little bit on how the suspension can handle certain situations and with the rounded one uh, the impacts are very similar it's not a big difference and I can notice a little bit I think I noticed the weight more than anything else so if any of you know um, how the squared off tire affects the suspension better than I do drop it in the comment I'm interested to learn but anyway the recommendation was more for a rounded one that's a and uh, B, the reason I, I went with these uh, is because it's a, the, the weight, when you put weight on these guys, they are, it puts more of a strain on the suspension components in general. And that's everything from your linkage to um, the CV joints, all of that good stuff. So this is just my opinion. I know guys out there are gonna say, I got 37s on mine and I'm fine. And hey, great. But I don't have really heavy duty aftermarket stuff on here um, other than the suspension uh, spring kit and shocks from Shock Therapy. But this was just for me and I wanted to try something a little different, but the weight I noticed uh, immediately. And the roundness as well. Um, part of the second reason was when you're in the dirt out here the sand and the arroyos I get a better footprint and I get a little more control on the sand but again that's just my opinion and I'm gonna see how these work and I will comment on them in the future so the other thing that I had replaced while I had the tires put on um, I have the new uh, upgraded knuckles that uh, were released by Kawasaki on the 2021 units as you guys know if you follow the channel this is a 2020 so I had the knuckles that would fail um, in this area if you were had the steering wheel turned one direction all the way to one direction or the other and the suspension compressed it would put uh, strain on this particular part of uh, the a-arm lower uh, a-arm guard or a-arm excuse me and they would fail so reached out to Kawasaki they're really helpful guys and if you guys still have the old knuckles on uh, your care -X, reach out to them via email they will get back to you very quickly and they order them um, and they replace them free of charge uh, to the dealer of your choice doesn't cost you anything so appreciate Kawasaki for that uh, this guy has I'm um, just shy of 5,000 miles so as far as the reliability goes I have not had any additional issues knock on wood I am just a, about a hundred miles shy of 5,000 and it has been running really really nice uh, another thing I am on my second uh, CVT belt I did have it inspected um, when I had the service done so they did the tires service dropped the fluids synthetic again but I did have the CV uh, t-belt inspected and measured and it's fine it's very interesting how on the KRX utilizing that that wet clutch behind the CVT um, and keeping this belt tight at all times how it uh, aids in belt life um, so it's very interesting to me um, how it improves it now I do have a spare belt and I'm probably going to replace it on the next service anyway but I elected not to at this point after speaking to the guys at Motorsports um, and they said it, it looks fine so we'll see how that goes you guys may have also noticed I finally finally got my rear bumper put on um, if you've seen my last video I had my rear light bar um, which I had for reverse purposes at in at night I had it mounted up here initially on the Super ATV um, tailgate rack if you will but it would not allow where it was mounted it would not allow this to be bolted on it did not have enough space so they rewired it for me and installed this on the bottom I think the uh, the 
rear bumper makes it re look really really good it completes it and this thing has been sitting in my garage for six months and I finally was able to get that done and have that put on but uh, the last thing I want to talk about <clears throat> before I move on and uh, it's the Graves exhaust that I put on here um, this thing uh, well, first of all I would like to thank John Hester up at Hester's Motorsports in Raton, New Mexico, which is up by the Colorado border. Uh, I reached out to John. Um, Graves, in my opinion, is one of the best exhaust manufacturers for ATVs, UTVs on the market. Uh, he helped me get this system, had it shipped to me. And if you guys are looking to get one, uh, I'll drop a link to Hester's Motorsports down in the... Uh, in the description below reach out to John and his his people they'll ship it to you anywhere and they'll give you a good deal on one but anyway there's two versions of this the version I have is just the slip-on and this comes in this uh, chrome color um, or a black I chose this color um, there's a slip-on and there is a complete exhaust system that includes the header I elected to go just with the slip-on and this is for two reasons one this thing by itself is almost a thousand bucks and it does come you can get it with a uh, spark arrestor or you can choose not to have a spark arrestor I did get one I keep it uh, in the glove box in case I ride on uh, forest land where it's required um, but you you can get um, this system it's it's just under a thousand dollars that's just for the slip-on if you go for the entire package you're looking at close to sixteen or eighteen hundred dollars depending on where you get it from and that does not include uh, flashing the computer if you do the entire system you have to do the ECU flash it's necessary if you do just the slip-on as I did you it does not require a flash you don't have to pull it out ship it off to graves and have them flash it I think they charge about 400 bucks for it um, so if you get into that you're looking at you know over two grand close to 2500 bucks to have the full system put on but anyway it's extremely light sounds really good I'll throw a picture up here of the stock one that we took off when we put this on and it's really easy to do it took about an hour me and my kids did it um, but the, the Kawasaki stock one just looks like a, this huge tank and it's just heavy bulky and it didn't look very good um, but it's functional um, this of course um, is much lighter and much louder um, just by putting the slip on you're supposed to get about four to five percent gain if you do the entire package with the computer flash you're supposed to get um, I think it, it bumps it like to 126 and a half or 127 horsepower um, with this you only get about a five percent um, over the stock 112 so but it looks better in my opinion and it sounds really good and I'll go in here real quick and I'll, I'll fire this up for you guys so we're in neutral and we'll come back here But anyway, I um, wanted to throw a video up for you guys. It's been a while. I apologize. Work, the holidays, all the madness in the world. It's kind of hard to juggle everything. Um, but I will be putting that video up with a full uh, review on the suspension. It'll include some good drone footage, some different shots of this thing going over uh, different terrain at different speeds and rock climbing. Um, but uh, you will that'll be coming up here uh, once I get all the footage together but uh, tires seem to be really good and they grip really well they haven't had problems climbing through the rocks like I did with the previous ones not knocking the gladiators they were a fantastic tire I hope these turn out to be just as good uh, but 
we're gonna give these a whirl uh, to save on that weight uh, so I'll be commenting on that and putting future videos on it uh, as they wear and let you guys know how these hold up if you're interested in a set but anyway almost 5,000 miles again uh, running fantastic haven't had any additional issues I'll do another uh, video with the uh, review on this at about 60 6,000 I'm sorry 6,000 or 6,500 so that'll be coming too but I will do the shock video I'm sorry the shock therapy video before I uh, put that one up again if you have any questions please drop them down in the comments below again please hit the subscribe button I appreciate all the new subscribers joining that like to ride and it is just an awesome day I don't know which direction to go now it's about a good 20 miles from my garage but luckily I can leave my garage and come into this kind of terrain which is just awesome anyway I hope everybody uh, has a great uh, start to 2021 and we'll see you guys in the next video